Namaste to all dear professors, scientists, researchers and students. I am Dr. Pankaj Kumar working in Earthquake Early Warning System Laboratory in Center of Excellence in Disaster Mitigation and Management, Indian Institute of Technology, Roorkee, India. As per the submitted paper, I will discuss about Uttarakhand State Earthquake Early Warning System, its performance and validation. This paper is co-authored by Principal Investigator of the project Professor Kamal from Department of Earth Sciences and Professor M. L. Sarma from Department of Earthquake Engineering. As we know that earthquakes are very deadly, they can destroy entire city in few seconds. As of now, no reliable prediction based on precursors is available. So, earthquake early warning system can be used to alert the people before the arrival of damaging waves so that people could take precautionary measures to save their lives. Earthquake early warning systems have been developed by many countries like Japan, Taiwan, Korea, China, India, Romania, Turkey, Israel, Mexico, USA and many others. In India, around 59% of land is prone to seismic hazards. Few Indian states in the Himalaya and in its vicinity are most prone to earthquakes. This region includes JNK, Himachal Pradesh, Uttarakhand in the north and some part of Bihar, West Bengal and Sikkim and all seven sister states Assam, Arunachal Pradesh, Manipur, Meghalaya, Mizoram, Tripura and Nagaland in the east and Kutch region of Gujarat in the west. These regions mostly fall in seismic zone 4 and 5. So an earthquake early warning system for these regions would be a better idea to mitigate earthquake hazards at large. Few great earthquakes have occurred in the Himalaya like the 1905 Kangra earthquake, 1934 Bihar Nepal earthquake, 1897 Assam earthquake, 1950 Assam Tibet earthquake and recently 2015 major earthquake in Nepal. These earthquakes created a lot of losses to lives and property by considering patterns of seismicity, micro earthquakes, historical and paleo seismicity, GPS observations, local tectonics and other related data sets. Many researchers examined whether all regions along Himalayan plate boundary are equally seismogenic or not. Researchers delineated seismic caps having discriminatory characteristics and concluded that major and great earthquakes can occur in the Himalayan region. The region which lies between Koric Fault in Himachal Pradesh and main central thrust near Dharchula, Nepal is referred to as the Uttarakhand Dharchula Seismic Gap, which is also known as Central Seismic Gap. Great earthquakes can occur in this region in future. This region has also witnessed two strong earthquakes. One occurred in 1991 in Uttarakasi region and another occurred in 1999 in Chamoli region. The strong earthquakes are long due in this region considering the results of previous studies and seismic activity of the region an earthquake early warning system has been developed for this region this is the architecture of an uttarakhand state earthquake early warning system installed sensors are connected to the central server through dedicated network connectivity then the central server does all the processing and if an earthquake is triggered then it sends this information to the warning server. The warning server broadcasts the warning by blowing install sirens, sending warnings on the installed mobile apps. As of now, we are using these two uh, modes for warning dissemination. We are also working on issuing warning based on radio and SMS. The work for the project Earthquake Early Warning System for Uttarakhand was initiated in the first half of 2014 and continued up to mid of 2017 as a pilot project development of earthquake early warning system for northern India funded by Ministry of Earth Sciences. Under this project, sensors were installed in the Gadwal region of Uttarakhand. Then after mid of 2017, Uttarakhand government started to fund it and expansion of the sensors in Kumang region was also carried out.
the magenta color triangles over the uttarakhand map represents location of installed sensors which are connected through the dedicated virtual private network over broadband of bsnl a government telecom operator in india the figure shows installation of sensors in the field and this laptop screen shows configuration of sensors during installation as of now 50 sensors are connected through the bsnl network the blue triangle represents location of installed sensors and are connected through the private network of swan a state wide area network of government this figure shows installation of sensors and its configuration in the field total 36 sensors are connected through the swan network these cyan color triangles represent location of installed sensors in kumau region of uttarakhand the sensors are connected through the dedicated virtual private network over broadband of bsnl this figure represents installation of sensors and its configuration at the site total 43 sensors are connected through the bsnl network these purple color triangles represent the location of installed sensors in the kumau region and are connected through this one network this figure shows installation of and configuration of the sensors at the site total 42 sensors are connected to this one network Thus, in total 171 sensors have been installed throughout uttarakhand region at present this slide represents the complete setup of the developed earthquake early warning system the data from all sensors comes at base transceiver station at computer center iit roorkee through the lease line then from computer center to our lab through the another lease line in lab we have router such as server and other networking equipment we do the whole operation and maintenance of the server in the lab we fabricate whole assembly of sirens and sensor boxes in the lab we have used open source platform server we have developed sensors and sirens monitoring system we have also developed a module to create intensity and pgm maps within minutes just after math of the earthquakes in, in this figure the oscillating waves represent only streaming of the sensors self response when actual earthquake records stream their amplitude increases an earthquake of magnitude 4.7 triggered in chamoli region on september 11 2021 the accelerograms of this earthquake recorded at three stations blkb at 12 km rtv at 62.5 km and bhls at 180 km from epicenter are shown in this figure the server generated earthquake reports and notifications were issued to the public the p and s onset of these three accelerograms are shown clearly the sufficient required data to start further processing took around 7.36 seconds after origin time and the server took uh, around 6.25 seconds for processing of the records and estimating magnitude epicenter and depth of this earth the earthquake report was generated at 11.61 seconds from the origin time and then notification were issued to the public in real time to verify how much lead time a site at 62.5 km would get it is demonstrated with recorded accelerograms of the ARTV site the p and s onset are shown clearly the regional warning was issued before the arrival of damaging s wave at ARTV site and it took around 5.1 seconds thus the lead time for ARTV is 5.1 seconds similarly for bhls site which is which is 180 km away and if this earthquake was a strong earthquake then it would have got 43.48 seconds lead time the p and s onset of this accelerograms are shown in case of onset warning it could have got only 20.81 seconds while having a regional warning system it could have got 43.28 seconds which means 22.67 seconds more in comparison to on-site warning based systems this video represents simulation of regional earthquake early warning system here this uh, national emblem uh, of india is representing the national capital delhi the state emblem of uttarakhand is representing the state capital Dehradun. this window is representing timer and shows remaining lead time for the target city.
this hut is representing location of the target site here for example i have chosen road key these black triangles are representing the location of trigger sensors these red in in circles represent epicenter of the earthquake the green circle shows the wave front of the primary wave and the red red circle shows the wave front of secondary wave that is damaging in the timer you can see how much time is left for residents of roorkee to take precautionary measures 25 seconds are left for roorkee 23 seconds 22 seconds and it will go up to when s wave reaches at roorkee site Nine seconds left. Six seconds left. Now, S wave has reached Turkey. This is how earthquake early warning system works. As of now, two modes, siren and mobile app, are used for dissemination of warning to the public. This map shows location of sirens which are installed in the government-owned building of Dehradun. Haldwani and all 13 district emergency operation centers of the state the buildings are schools colleges hospitals and police stations etc in dehradun region we have installed 51 sirens and in haldwani region we have installed 15 sirens thus in total 79 sirens are installed throughout uttarakhand the fabrication and maintenance of the siren units is carried out in the lab only this is how siren unit are configured in the field a mobile application uttarakhand bhukam alert has been developed this is the front page of the app this page pops up during real time events and shows estimated magnitude epicenter and lead time a user has to take precautionary measures this page shows uh, sos button suppose during an actual event if a person gets stuck and he needs help then he just has to press this sos button and his location would be sent to the disaster management authority automatically and this in location information help disaster management authorities to initiate search and rescue operations as soon as possible this shows the icon of the developed app and qr code to install the app for android and ios mobile phone users this app was launched on august 4th 2021 by the honorable chief minister of uttarakhand media briefing of this launch was also done the event was covered by national and regional newspapers a mock drill of earthquake is conducted on first day of every month at 12 noon in coordination with state disaster Manage management authority of uttarakhand it helps the line department to check their reactive measures which need to be performed during actual events and helps them to get ready and stay tuned with standard operating procedures these pamphlets are disseminated to the public to sensitize regarding mock drill this video this video was recorded during the mock drill the siren was test run it test run siren started to pop up the siren is going to be this is another video where hooter got blown The lead time of earthquake is very important. It is estimated as S wave arrival time at target site minus P onset arrival in the network plus data transmission and required processing time by the server. This plot shows estimated lead time for few important cities of Uttarakhand. if earthquake triggers uttarakashi region since the launch of mobile application 
seven light earthquakes have occurred in the instrumental region and for all these earthquakes our earthquake early warning system has successfully issued notification to the public the recent one is magnitude 4.5 tehri earthquake which occurred the day before yesterday on november 6th 2022 for this earthquake notifications were sent to the public a successful alert was issued on september 11 2021 these are the recorded accelerograms this is the origin time of the earthquake and in few seconds notification of this earthquake was received at the stall mobile app if it was a strong earthquake then the major cities would have got this much lead time for state capital dehradun it could have got 14.6 seconds and for roorkee where ew system setup is could have got 22 seconds and national capital delhi could have got 58.1 seconds the developed earthquake early warning system for uttarakhand is india's first earthquake early warning system the developed mobile app is india's first earthquake early warning app the developed mobile app has an sos feature which is the most helpful for the users in disaster situation in emergency user must just press the sos button and their location will get sent automatically to the disaster management authority and they can initiate search and rescue operations as soon as possible these are some usps of our developed earthquake early warning system thank you so much for watching and listening to this presentation for any query or doubt please mail to this email id thank you so much